to be thrown into motherhood to begin with and then find out your child has PKU, it was overwhelming. Every parent worries, but now it's you're worrying even more because there's other things that can potentially cause problems. So Caroline was our first baby. We brought her home and, and just fed her the way the Children's Hospital said to feed her. We just decided that we would do our best to um, raise her with all the love that we had and um, you know take it day by day. When I was younger, in middle school, elementary school, it was just like, oh, she's the girl with the weird food. She's the girl who drinks that weird smelling milk. And it's like, you're the center of attention, but for all the wrong ways. And it really takes its toll on you, like growing up now. She has to learn, you know, what her limitations are. And uh, she, so far, has been pretty good with it. We also are concerned with her, obviously, because she is a young lady and wants to have a family someday. Maternal PKU deals with the ability of uh, a young woman who is about to become pregnant and during a pregnancy to um, ensure that her baby grows properly. The baby's brain will not develop correctly. Um, the baby may be born with heart defects if um, she goes off the diet or if her levels vary at all during the pregnancy. So it's very important um, before she becomes pregnant and during a pregnancy that she maintain a very strict diet. And it's it's a daily struggle for women who have PKU. It's hard enough to be pregnant. It's harder to eat the right foods during your pregnancy to make sure that you have the proper nutrition and that your baby does as well. When you're a teenager, you really don't like feeling different, and PKU makes you feel very, very different. PKU is a problem with metabolizing the amino acid phenylalanine. So phenylalanine is amino acid that comes in the protein that we eat and an individual with PKU is missing the critical enzyme that normally converts the phenylalanine to fuel. If untreated from birth, severely impairs the growth and development of the brain of infants with this disorder. And the primary treatment now is dietary restriction. Foods that I can't eat include pizza, hamburgers, fish and steak, milk, chocolate milk, ice cream. I'd say the majority of people in adolescence and uh, certainly into adulthood have great difficulty uh, maintaining that severe kind of a restriction. You're hungry. When you have um, PKU, you're, you're, you're hungry pretty much all the time. I was diagnosed at birth. They put me on uh, a formula right away at birth. Then I went pretty much completely off my diet as my uh, late teens, early 20s. And that was a big mistake. And that's partially how I have some of my problems is how I lost track of my diet. I've got uh, a lot of neurological problems. I've had multiple seizures. Um, I, my muscles shake, um, um, I don't know, my, basically my neurological system is shot from being off diet. A lot of our teens and adults are no longer on dietary therapy because it is so difficult to do every single day for the rest of your life. Well, it's really hard, you know, I can't have a lot of stuff that my friends can have, like chocolate, pizza, and all that stuff. Sometimes it really frustrates me, and I bet that's the same for all the other kids that want a cure, too. The diet that we, you know, as it is, is definitely not a cure, um, as I mentioned a lot of people have difficulty maintaining that. There is some data that even in kids who are very well treated, that their incidence of problems with like attention deficit in school is higher than in the regular population and a fair number of them end up on uh, stimulant medications for attention deficit disorder. And we know that the incidence of attention deficit in adults is quite, is quite high despite the dietary therapy. If there is a cure for PKU, um it would mean everything. Um, it would mean that she could come out to dinner with us and 
We could order off the kids' menu. For us, it's a bit of an inconvenience. You know, for her, it's a lifestyle. I would like my friends not to feel hungry anymore. Your investment here tonight will help us fund the most promising peer-reviewed research that will lead to new therapy discoveries and an eventual cure for PKU. PKU is largely a disease about limits. Its effects can put severe limits on a person's ability to develop, function, and thrive. Help us face fewer limits and brighter possibilities for the future. Please, Please help, help us lift the limits, limits for PKU.